Hello again, this is the Water Man, Spiritual Toolbox number 91, The Love Chapter number 67, Audio Recording number 409, Examination Table, table number 71, where we document so, we dissect it, right? We don't, that we not just may prove it, but we prove it to ourselves, okay? <clears throat> Now, finally back in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 6. I'm continuing in, in that, the love chapter, okay? I'll start off by reading it. <clears throat> Just a minute. <clears throat> I'll start off reading it from the King James Version. And then we'll start breaking it down and stuff and seeing what it's really saying and interpreting it. Okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 6 says, Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in, rejoiceth in truth. Alright. Now, let's go in here and start to break this down. break this down so we can look at examining it, examining it, um, checking it out in our universe of our mind, our cosmos thinking, orderly arrangement in the mind of humanity, not this universe out here, okay, this observable universe out here, and each person has their own observable universe inside. An orderly arrangement in the mind of humanity. And there's all these little balls. Balls inside of the balls. You know, all this stuff. All this very complex. Very expansive. Um, thought processes. Not just saying your brain. That's still, that's a physical, tangible organ. Okay. They can kill you and take your brain out and look at it. Look and say, there's not God in there. <laughs> it's the way you think. It's beyond that. It's in the spiritual realm. Okay? I still yet speaking carnality, external. God works internal in ways that's beyond your might and your power. You know, that's like, if God be for you, working internally in you to the external, who can be against you? Was that uh, Romans? Hang on just a second. I'll just read that. Just read it. Uh, let's see here. I know it's right here. Close. Let me look. Hmm. Well, I know it's right here. Maybe I didn't. Eyes about crossing up. Well, first, let's just go Romans 8 31 and read it through. No, I'm not going to break it down anymore. Just read it. What shall we say then to these things? God, uh, if God be for you, who can be against you? Oh, right there it is. I was looking for it at the beginning of the verse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have trouble focusing in on stuff, but that's just, that's little pea stuff, okay? Alright, for all the stuff in the natural God's put me through, uh, shoot, that's not, a, that's not a thing, not a thing, man. Alright, okay, and it goes on, I'll read some more here, just, just, I'm not going to break it all down right now, I can, but I'm not going to. <clears throat> Verse 32 says, He that spared his own son, 
but deliver uh, he that did that spared not his own son, but or on the contrary delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Verse thirty three. Uh, who shall say? Who shall lay? Anything to the charge of God's elect, it is God that justifieth or, re- or renders you innocent. Okay, renders a person innocent. Okay, he's justifying, he's vindicating you. He's the one, he's the one, God is the one that's, that's at work to, to prove that you're innocent. It's God that condemns, God, that, God doesn't condemn you. Right, what Jesus said on the cross in uh, Luke twenty three thirty four, just because I know that one right off the top of my head. The Father forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. That's uh, an acquittal. It's not condemnation. It's that man made Carl Mine crap doing that. I condemn you to hell. Hey yuck! Bullshit. That's stupid thinking. Okay, worthless and detestable. We don't like that. Don't allow that into you. Get that out. Get out! Alright, like you're saying basically in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 19 through 22. Get this stuff in you. So your toolbox, you can say, just like when you said the devil tempted you, you know, Jesus was tempted of the devil, that false accuser in your mind, for 40 days and 40 nights. How did Jesus say, it is written, it is written, it is written, it is written. <clears throat> bam, bam, bam. Be still, you old dog. Right? Just like in that. The same thing. <laughs> Man shall not live by bread alone, but uh, from every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. No stop processes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> who is he that condemneth in verse 34 it is Christ that died yea rather that is risen again who is even at the right hand of God who also maketh intercession for us use the bat for you home run every time <laughs> the best clean up hitter ever was just speaking like a baseball thing. It's just a little fun thing, you know, a little pun at it. God is God is defending you. He's your high tower, strong refuge. Come all the way back. Be reasonable, my child. Sit my way. That's what God's telling us. Yes, sir, daddy. Chop this stuff out. Melt this stuff out. Skim it out. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Verse 35, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? I've been here a couple, (laughs) a lot, in myself. It is written, right? (laughs) I'll deal with this. Uh, (coughs) Get it in yourself. So you got a spiritual toolbox band to handle that stuff. Okay? As it is written, verse 36, as it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. And that time when it's bowling up, being chopped out, and all this stuff. Christ is working in you. In there, the balls like... When it starts boiling the water, your thought process, speaking of your thoughts, your mind, okay? Boiling up, you boil the water, what well, happens? Little balls start coming up. And it starts rolling. You're being killed. It's like you're being killed all the day long. Oh! <laughs> A lot of the negative electron experiences. Kill them things. Kill that little alpha dog thinking in you. While it's little, smash its head against the rock. Pow! I'm not talking about really taking a little baby. Oh, my goodness. But see, in this mind, taking this little bitty things 
a little bit of thought process before they get to be a big man, big old team fit giant, gonna kick your butt. <laughs> Bully you all around, tired. Smashed your head against the rock, Christ. It is written, it is written, it is written. <laughs> God says, God says, God says. Exist, exist, exist. I agree, I agree, I agree, daddy. <laughs> All right. Have fun with that thing. We have party time in that old uh, fiery furnace there, or the lion's den, or wherever you're at on that ship, in your ship. Nap time in that bad boy. Right in the midst of all that stuff. Eh, be quiet, you old off dog. Shut up, you winds and waves, storm. Eh, beat it. Just beat it. Yeah. Okay. Now, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Sheep can't really defend itself, right? <clears throat> In verse 37. I'm just, I'm skimming here. She can go look at it yourself. Study it, I encourage it. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Okay? For I am, <coughs> verse 38, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor pre nor things present, nor things to come, 39, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus, Christ Jesus, our Lord, Christ, the anointed of God, Jesus, Jesus, is our, that's that hemon, right, that plural of ego, hmm, God's taken over. Yahweh is salvation, right? Jesus. I-S-O-U-S. -S. Uh, check it again for the probably the umpteenth time, hundredth time, or who knows how many times. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, this one's curious, okay? It's, it's Master Lord. Let me see. It's this one. Strong's G-2962. Curious. It's our supreme uh, supremacy, okay? Other places, it's it's Jesus. It's I-E-S-O-U-S, okay? Uh, it might even be an Old Testament one. I, I don't know if that's Hebrew or it's plenty Greek, okay? New Testament or Old Testament. Well, it has to be New Testament. Uh, Jesus, yeah. It's supreme in authority. Curious, is, uh, okay? Jesus is supreme in authority. And he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what to do. Okay, he's protection. Okay, you've seen, you seen me, you've seen the Father, right? So that was what Jesus said, okay? Now, let's get back here in First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 6. So I can continue. That Romans 8, I just stay there for, for I don't know how long. Ever, never, never. It's too much. It's so much. Okay, uh, verse thir uh, 1 Corinthians 13, verse 6, the love chapter again, and it uh, says, rejoiceth not, in rejoiceth not in iniquity, and rejoiceth, but rejoiceth in the truth. Okay, now, start breaking it down some here. <clears throat> Well, they've got it listed here in the interlinear Bible. It's got that OU yuck, OU 3756. As they got it translated as not, but it's an absolute negation. God, it's this word, right? Strong's G 3756. Ooh. 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 Right? Ooh yuck. Right? Absolutely not. Not allowed by God, okay? Don't, don't, absolutely not, okay? Rejoice, rejoiceth is where they, pronounce, they, they translate this word, okay? 56, four, uh, 54, 63, 
C H A I R O. Strong G fifty four sixty three. Hyro. 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 Looks like chero <laughs> to me. <laughs> it's a verb, primary root, uh, primary verb. Get tongue tied there. Okay. And basically, in that one, let me look here in this. Check my notes here. Yeah, it's a primary word, so it's right down to the base of it, okay? <clears throat> Online it says to rejoice, be glad, uh, to rejoice exceedingly, to thrive. Okay, I didn't write down no more. Say, be calmly happy or well off, right in the midst of those storms, all this stuff going on, all those calamities, tribulations, pressures, all this stuff. You know, that thalipsis and those fiery trials and stuff. It's like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in there in that fiery furnace and, and the God in there with them. Number four in there when they look, tried to see, and they died doing that. Trying to catch a peek of them like in their beast nature, right? Their buffalo briefs. It wasn't just three Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God was in there with them. He's protecting them. It's like party time, right? They're well off, calm. No harm come to them. And they're do, 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 singing and shouting. Yeah, woo! Not screaming. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Well, with me, pain, grief, and suffering. Oh, ha, ha. No. Be gone with your old stinking dog thinking. I'm not bowing the knee to that old carnal mind. My own stinking thinking, that old King Nebuchadnezzar. Get out of here. Just beat it. God's providing that fire. You have to burn up that stuff as he's chopping it away. And you're greedy, greedy, greedy. Right? Out of each ball in your thinking process. Right? And then refining that metals, impure metals, all of melting them out in that refiner's pot and skimming them all. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Getting that log, that carnal thinking. That me, myself, and I that's in the midst of your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Right in the middle of it. Right in the midst. That meta is when it's coming all the way from all that stinking thinking. Ian, that's why I ain't God, right? Remember? I haven't been teaching this stuff for quite a long time. <clears throat> they haven't got to go back and watch other videos again and again and again and again. And study, 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 and then in your own experiences, God has to bring, give the increase. And you have to say, you have to work out your own salvation, your own deliverance from this thing. Yes, sir, daddy. I can't say yes, sir, for you. A strong affirmation. So they chop that out or refine that stuff out and skim it off. You got to do that yourself. You got to get rid of that own log in your own eye. That's the disease. <coughs> like, you, like you're a leper. Okay, a leper, right? We're all diseased and stuff. You're diseased in your mind. Your thinking is clouded. You can't see the truth. Get that law guy your eye. Okay, looking at other people and saying, Oh, you gotta be oh, you gotta be splinter over there. Let me try to get it out of there. Bang! Put their eye out. <laughs> right? Uh, your big old works, your big old hand, your efforts. Whack! I poked you right in the eye. Oh, I didn't mean I meant it good, but yeah, go on, you stuck your finger right in the eye. You jammed it in there. Kill me. Or you put my eye out now. I'm really, I'm, <laughs> I'm really hurt now. Didn't help at all, did you? Ministered out of need, not out of lead. <laughs> Make it a uh, uh, a funny out of it. Look at that, but that's what's going on. Get take care of your own backyard, right? Only under the direction of, of the Spirit. God's here the fivefold ministry for the encouraging of the saints. Right? The apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor who teaches. 
Okay. As through the spirit, as the spirit works, you function in any one of those that God is telling you to do at that time. It's not just, oh, well, it's got to be a man-made tradition. God to anoint you and put you in a position that will teach you or a pastor or an evangelist or whatever. Yeah. You got to put a plaque on the wall and all this stuff and make monuments and... <laughs> oh, shoot. That's like, that's like your deaf, dumb, lame, dang, that's like a daggone little... Um, breath off or nephew off or maybe even a boy leader trying to tell a grown man how to do something, how to build a house or do something that <laughs> can't even hardly tie their shoes. <laughs> what a oh, moronic thing. Don't listen to that stuff. Quit sticking your finger in other people's eye in their business. You're not encouraging them. Okay, no matter what your intentions are, you're putting their, you stick your daggone finger, your efforts in their eye. <clears throat> It'd be like this is the observable universe, your mind. And in the natural, it's teaching you about this first, it teaches you about the spiritual, right? So, in the observable universe, that'd be what, about 93 billion light years in diameter. God, dog. And God's blowing that thing up and shut it all the way down. Tiny, tiny stuff. Done like an atom inside of that. And working on it. <laughs> and you're going to look outside that observable universe. Anything that's... It, and, Look out there to somebody else's universe of a mind. And say, I think I see a speck over there. <laughs> I see an atom messed up in you. Or one of your little planets, all this whole 93 billion uh, uh, light years. Light year. Oh, my goodness. That's the speed that light travels in the whole year. At 186,000 miles per second. Booyah! That's one light year. This is 93 billion light years. And God's going all the way down to like a little planet, a little, little atom or whatever. Real tiny. <laughs> You're seeing a speck and somebody else is wrong. If you look hard enough, that carnal mind's going to tell you all kinds of stuff. Pointing the finger. No, first clean up this stuff in your mind. Only then you get in, and that's why in that, under the direction of God, you gotta do that. You go taking and trying to do surgery on their, uh, like in their universe, you can't do nothing about it. You don't know that universe at all. That person doesn't know much at all. You yourself don't know much at all about your own stinking thinking. A lot of presumptuous missing of the mark, sin in your mind, right? <laughs> God's got to chop it out, chop it out. But I did a whole bunch, I spent a whole bunch of time on that, man. God, I did a whole time telling tell my chances. Oh, I gotta give it up. And I ain't staying it. Keep spinning your wheels, going around, 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 just like you're out in outer space, no gravity. And, oh, if you had on, had a way of surviving, your natural body couldn't, couldn't just be, it'd die immediately almost. <laughs> through numerous things. But if you was in something just out there, you, you know, no gravity, you, <laughs> any of your efforts and stuff would be wasted. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Let God's gravity, his love, settle you down in that. <clears throat> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I've been having just for fun here, okay? All right, now, let's see. Back to this Chero. I'll just call it. I know it's uh, like horror or something like that. Uh, it's strong to saying to be calm, calmly happy, or, or well off. Especially in salutation in others. Not going, oh man, that, that old devil just beat me up. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. Talking about this, that thing. Pointing, 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 pointing. The finger. And everything else. And taking no responsibility with the green with God. You can't. I'm not hearing. See here, taste test your smell with Christ in control. You're feeding into that he haw and donk, sneaky snake, donkey, sneaky snake, and he haw and donkey, and alpha dog, and that parakeet that's all messed up, got all kinds of different animal sounds. Just trying to lead you off the, the pipeline of God, that love beyond words. Bringing you in there, making you into a heavy water. You're thinking stable. It's blowing you all over the place. A pie, grandiose. Woohoo, this is great. <laughs> Facade. Okay, and go down here. You're dumber and you're stupider and you're, oh, blah, blah, blah. You're worse than dirt. It's trying to take the heat out of you. And the heat, it's like this little bitty, uh, like quantum uh, part, like um, pieces down inside you, like you know, vibration. Okay, and as things heat up more, it vibrates faster. Okay, trying to take it out, it's going to slow and slow and slow. It's it's reducing the temperature. Of that it's like reducing the working, the dealing with God in you. Dealing in your universe or mind. Reducing that temperature. Bringing you closer and closer and closer to absolute zero. It's approaching that still. That stopping. What's that in the natural is uh, zero degree. Zero Kelvin is a negative 273.15 degree C okay cold 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 all right but it's approaching that you can't really get there because God's still that's that see that measure of faith is in there God's protecting that that little part's gonna have some kind of heat in it even though if it's cold 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 it's not gonna completely stop because God is faithful. And this is in all your thinking processes. Even the coldest part in you. That seed in there. Completely surrounded by even rubberized concrete thinking of this dark matter, dark energy, this poop thinking. <laughs> God still got you. God's faithful. God is the great hero. Just agree into him. Be reasonable, my child. See it my way. Right? <laughs> so this fire, this stuff God's, God's doing in these storms to life to you and bring this stuff back in there and bring you to this eye of the storm to make this, uh, give you the opportunity to agree and can't start your processing coming back in and that's why in him. From all this stuff all the way in. That's not bad. That's good. Very good. That's your only hope. And growing that faith, hope, and love. That faith back into the truth of God. That love back in, or that hope back into all the way from our love back in confidence in God as He's doing this. And it's love that's conditional. It's not at best. Coming all the way back into this love that's greater than unconditional, unshakable, perfect love beyond words. It's a love beyond words. Woo-hoo-hoo. It's come, so it's bringing it back to it so it can be completed with this child. That love beyond words that God had for you 
before the creation of this cosmos, the foundation, the conception of the orderly arrangement in your mind of humanity, of this universe thinking in your mind. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> wow. All right. Now, uh, this chair of it rejoiceth, and it sounds you absolutely don't. Not allowed by God to rejoice in this this poop thinking, basically. We're going to get there, in a little, but probably not on this one. I'm about to run out of time, about a minute left. Chero, verb, primary uh, verb, and it's all this thrive and stuff. And the strong, calmly, be calmly happy, uh, well off, especially in salutation, meeting, or uh, parting. Tell them, be well, be good. No, I hate you, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to get you. <laughs> no. All right. There's things you're going to have to think about. In the third, saying, be re to rejoice, be glad. Okay, don't rejoice and be glad in that calamity and trials and all this woe is me stuff. And all this iniquity and all this crap. We'll get to that here, in a, probably another one, okay? I'll draw a line here and do it, okay? Because I'm just about to run out of time. But rejoice in God. Agree, agree, agree. Okay, this has been Spiritual Toolbox number 91. i got to go. See you later. Bye-bye.